Eight fifty in the morning. Sun shining. Toby. Morning, Toby. Morning. Um, welcome inside the PGA Tour. It's early, very early. We don't like early, but that's when you get the best work done. We go behind the scenes with the always stylish Ian Poulter on a photo shoot for his clothing line, IJP Design. Wicked. I like that one. You guys came in, had a little look of behind the scenes of what happens on our shoots. As you saw, we have plenty of fun. We try and make it very relaxed. The Englishman talks to us about his new designs, the future of his brand, and his rise up the PGA Tour ranks. What I like about Ian Poulter is he's improved his golf game by believing in himself. <laughs> his style can best be described as vivacious. I definitely love what, what Poulter's doing with his line and, you know, the, the clothing statement that he's making. A cross between fresh and daring. Oh, it's a mix of past, a uh, bit of the future, sunglasses, spiky hair, but then it's certainly, from a history point of view, wearing stuff that's been around, probably a little, a little better fitting pants today than what they had 30 years ago. He is Ian Poulter, and he is the head of IJP Design, and his newest clothing line is, again, anything but typical. We've done a, a small collection from our autumn, winter 2011, and then spring, summer 2012. For me, it's great to try on the outfits, which is going to be obviously showcased in 2012. It kind of teases me because I'm in great stuff, but I also see what we've now created for next year, and it's kind of, it's really cool. I get to nick all the early product, you see. Yeah. Great hat. Love wow. a good baseball cap. IJP began in 2007. We began with a relatively small range. We're now in 30 countries worldwide. We have our men's collection, we're launching a juniors range, and in 2013 we're launching a ladies range. Whoa. The diversity and the fun that we have as a team creating these wonderful collections with the direction of Ian um, is really very special and very unique in the golf fashion industry today. <laughs> that is not being you. Ian is incredibly easy to photograph. He's got such a uh, big personality. He's, he's cheeky, he's funny, uh, he's fantastic on set, and it makes everyone's life extremely easy. Uh, you want to put those shorts on with I'm going to put them shorts on right now. Do you like them? See? It has a seal of approval. He's got such a great personality that it comes across in the photographs and makes everyone's life incredibly easy. We keep trying new fabrics, new cuts, just trying to make things fresh and make things fun for everybody to, you know, to really look good. What we look to do, especially with Ian, is to capture the moment. So we just need the right light, the right moment, and hopefully we capture it. Wicked, I love it. To have your own business, to have an interest away from the golf course, is great. A new initiative for the IJP design team is to launch a new kids line in 2012. I think that was really awesome to, you know, to see Luke and Amy and Sam in, in those outfits, you know, shows a progression of what we're going to do for junior golf. It's really exciting to be able to create that and, you know, it's just another arm uh, out of IJP design. All of you are looking wicked, love this. Ian is a self-made through self-determination and just sheer hard work and grit. He has taken himself from an assistant golf professional to where he is today. And golf globally is getting bigger, sky is the limit, and then they will get there. All in a good day's work, right? Ian Poulter certainly has a flair for the dramatic. From his on-course fashion to his off-the-course persona, the Englishman is always giving the golf pundits something to talk about. I'm outspoken, for sure. Some people find me a little bit arrogant. I wouldn't put it as arrogant. I would say I'm very confident in what I think I've been able to do to get myself into a position in golf. There's no problem in expressing my own confidence within that. After four years and five wins on the European tour, Holzer moved his game stateside in 2004. But his British swagger didn't translate to victories in the US. Backing up his brash persona proved to be difficult. The question got asked a number of times, when are you finally going to win? Obviously, you need to win on the PGA Tour. You've been playing enough years. And yes, I have. I've played over 100 plus events, and you know I hadn't done it. Despite the absence of a PGA Tour victory on his resume, Holzer catapulted from 42nd to 11th in the world golf ranking by the beginning of the 2010 season. 
his resolve and persistence never wavering. From England, Ian Poulter. In February of 2010, at the age of 34, he broke through for his first PGA Tour victory at the World Golf Championships Accenture Match Play Championship, vaulting to a top five spot in the world. I had a great feeling around a match play. I got off to a good start, and I just had, you know, a lot of momentum going into each round, and I managed to play great golf. You know, to make birdie after birdie after birdie means you're going to be very difficult to beat. And the poltergeist is done. It was huge for it to be a WGC victory. I enjoyed that win. I know I'm more than capable of repeating that, so let's go out there and have more fun and, and do it. Ian's a very determined guy. I mean, there's no doubt he works very hard at all aspects of his game. He's a wonderful competitor. When he gets into contention, he's tough. He makes a lot of putts. He's hungry, he's determined, and I think that's what sees him through. He's a perfect case of somebody who, if you continue to say the right things to you, you'll get better, and he, he definitely has improved as a player over, the, say, the last 10 years that I've known him through his self-belief. I've got so much respect for the guy because he turned pro off a handicap of four or five and worked and worked until he got somewhere and you know he's made the most of his ability and you know people forget that. You know, deep down is a guy that has worked really hard. He loves his life and you know he really appreciates everything that he has. Although he's had just one top ten on the PGA Tour in 2011, Ian Poulter won the Volvo World Match Play event on the European Tour in May, and he set his sights even higher for the second half of the season. I feel brilliant about my game. It's one week away from a very average start turning into a, a good year, turning into a great year. The Open Championship to me is my home championship. The first time I'd ever been to an Open Championship was at Sandwich. So therefore, you know, that would be a fantastic tournament to win at a great venue. It's going to be a difficult test of golf like it always is, and you're going to have to have a lot of patience. But to even think to have your name engraved on that trophy would be incredible. Ian Poulter is a renaissance man, understanding his opportunity to capitalize because of his unique skill set in many different avenues. It's a business. If you take it back to bare bones, it is a job. It is a business. Yes, it's golf. It's a fantastic job, but I think you can make it more fun than that. I don't have to be so serious. It's a great game. I enjoyed playing golf as a kid, and I had fun, and I still want to have fun today. Whether through his clothing line or with his play on the course, Poulter is one of many tour stars connecting with fans in a new way. Inside the PGA Tour, filming the IJP 2012 photo shoot. Golf changed. It's dramatically changed from when I started playing my first year on tour in 2000. I'd like to share that fun that I'm having with everyone else. That's why the whole Twitter thing to me is kind of fascinating. We have a lot of banter between friends on there and other golfers and footballers and other celebrities and stuff. And obviously, you know, I have some banter with just some general public, which also is good. And, you know, to give them a bit of interaction is cool, to put out pictures, to put out small videos. You know, golf's changed, the world's changed. It's gone gadget crazy. This game of golf is fascinating. It's always changing and to me, it's so much fun. Poulter now has 1.2 million followers on Twitter and is on an impressive list of active athletes in the top 400 of all tweeters. Let's check out more of this. Check out pgatour.com slash inside. That's really nice, that one.